Whenever you come across those high priced garage sales, do you ever go back the next day or the final day of their sale to see if the item is still there and they will actually deal with you and sell the item for a reasonable price? Check this guy out. That is a big praying mantis. Holy cow. Hey guys, it is Tuesday, August 18th. I've got a lot of stuff to do today. I've got about 15 eBay orders to ship out. I got some listing to do. I might go hunting for some boxes at some point. Let's get to work. these irons that I picked up at a garage sale last weekend I got three big golf bags full of clubs for 15 bucks and these were in it at the time I thought they might be worth 40 or 50 bucks but I think they get closer to hundred dollars for them it seems like they're selling pretty well which is pretty shocking because these things are like 25 30 years old they're definitely not new technology I think what might be helping them are these bubble graphite shafts. Uh, this is something TaylorMade came out with. I think it was in the 90s that they did it and they did, you know, drivers, irons, all kinds of stuff. And I think they did it for like, I don't know, five or 10 years before they got away from it. So might be something that's sought after now. A couple tips when you guys list golf clubs, I always like to put them on the table and lay them out in order like this from longest club to shortest club. And then I'm gonna look and see if they're all matching up well. If one of these clubs was randomly longer than it should be, you know, it would show if somebody cut something down or just something funky, but something good to look for because you don't want to sell an iron set and then one of them's weird and then you're going to get a return. It's going to be a whole big thing. Other thing I like to do is I want to make sure that the head of the club is securely fastened to the shaft and basically you just grip the handle and then grip this, give it a little twist, and make sure it just doesn't come right off. <laughs> Believe it or not, I've twisted some clubs, and the head will just come right off because that epoxy glue has just worn over time, or there's just not a good connection or whatever. So you don't want somebody buying your golf clubs, and then they go out on the course, and they hit one ball with it, and the head goes flying down the course. So that is definitely going to get you a bad feedback. All right, these are good to go, ready to list. All right, time to ship out some eBay orders. I went ahead and pulled this bin because I sold quite a few things out of here. I listed a bunch of autograph cards yesterday and quite a few of them sold. Uh, let's see here. One buyer bought five lots of them. Uh, he got C3, there's that out right here. These are all um, autographed minor leaguer cards. Some of them are major leaguers. I'm doing uh, 50 cards per lot for $19.99 plus shipping. Uh, he bought C4. Let's see where that is. Right here. C9, right there. C10 and C1. There's C10. There's C1. Uh, all go in the same buyer. If you were named Nathan bought those cards. Nathan, thank you for the support. Really hope you like those. Okay, I think I sold at least one more lot of cards out of here. Uh, C8. Uh, let's see, right here. These also sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next bin we're pulling is A4. Now I sold at least two things out of here, so we'll just pull the whole bin. All right, I sold this Pete Rose autobiography book got this at a garage sale last weekend for two dollars that sold for 9.99 plus shipping and the same buyer got some stuff down here at f6 also pete rose related stuff it is three different lots of pete rose cards each lot has 25 cards i think i had them listed for like 15 dollars plus shipping he offered me 10 dollars plus shipping on each one and i accepted that book on all those cars are going out to your name randy randy thank you for the business i really appreciate it all right another thing i sold out of a4 is this phone set new in the packaging it's two uh cordless handsets with uh, two different bases 
Picked this up for $6 at a garage sale. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Let's go ask if your name's Scott. Scott, thank you for the support. It means a lot. All right, I sold a couple autographed baseballs. I guess I could have just stayed in A4 because that's where they are. These two right here, each one sold for $9.99 plus shipping. All right, next thing is an A3. These are some brand new knives. I got these as part of a bulk buy. I've got about a dollar into them. They sold for $8.99 plus shipping. Viewers Nathan and Serena bought these guys. Thank you so much for the business. I really appreciate it. All right, next order has two items. First is in C2. It is this vintage Lego rescue helicopter. And then the next is over here in F2. Star Wars Old Republic PC game. Uh, these two sold for $25.98 plus shipping. Those are both going out to viewer named John. He says, I'm a big fan of your YouTube channel. I watch you every day. You are just so amazing to watch. Thank you for your content. Keep up the great work. John, thank you so much for the kind words. That really means a lot. All right, last thing we're pulling is in C4. This is a left-handed McGregor glove. Um, what's tricky about these when you list baseball gloves is you actually list it as what the throwing hand is. So like this, even though this you wear this on your right hand, it's for a left-handed thrower. So you put LHT or left-handed thrower um, and then for the other glove, you put RHT or right-handed thrower. So kind of a tricky thing whenever you're listing gloves, just a heads up. Um, I had this listed for $15. Somebody sent me an offer of $10 plus shipping, and I accepted. And it's another viewer sale. Vincent bought this. Thank you so much, Vincent. All right, back at the warehouse. Time to pull some eBay orders. Uh, first is a couple of Dorbs. One is up here in D8. Uh, let's see, it's Thor. It is this one right there. And then the other is in C10. It is Batman. I think it's this one right here. These two are going to the same buyer for $11.98 plus shipping. Those two are going out to viewers Dan and Carly. They say we are husband and wife reselling duo who have been reselling since 2008 and just took it full time. Congrats guys, that's awesome. We absolutely love your channel and watch you all the time. You and your wife are a great inspiration to our family. We would love some stickers if you have any. Wish you all the best in this picking season. Thanks again, Dan and Carly, Flower Field Picker 00. Guys, thank you for the support and I'd be more than happy to throw in some stickers for you. Next is right here in C2. This is a handheld solitaire game. I got it at a garage sale last weekend for 50 cents. It sold for $19.99, free shipping. If you guys ever see these new in the packaging, pick them up because they sell for a lot more when they're sealed. I've sold similar ones to this, uh, new in the packaging for around like 60, 70 bucks. Okay, I also sold some science fiction books out of here. So a lot of five, I got these at a garage sale a few weeks ago for 10 cents each and they sold for $9.99 plus shipping. These are going out to your name, James. James, thank you for the business. Really hope you like these books. Next thing's back here in F1. This is a brand new VCR cleaner, uh, sealed from the early 90s. This sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Sold some Pogs. Let's see here, two different sets. I've been selling these in lots of two. So there's one. And here is another. Each one sold for $11.99, free shipping. Sold a helmet. It's one of those autograph helmets that was in that big, a lot of stuff I got down in Tennessee. Probably only have like a dollar into this. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Okay, next is in C3. This is a Epix XL TENS uh, pain relief stimulation thing. I got this at a garage sale for $7, maybe about a month ago. It sold for $27.99 plus shipping. All right, last thing we're pulling is in here. It is these tailor-made bubble tube irons. These are three through sandwich. Got them at a garage sale last weekend. Um, got these and a whole bunch of other golf clubs too for 15 bucks. And I sold this set here for $159.99 plus shipping. It's Thursday afternoon. I'm back from the garage sales and got about a dozen eBay orders to ship out. First is down here in D1. It is three cassette tapes, two Beatles and one Rolling Stones. Got about a dollar into these. They sold for $10.99 free shipping. These are going out to Carol who's bought a lot of cassettes for me in the past. So thank you so much for the support, Carol. All right, I guess I could have just pulled this bin because I got more than one thing that sold out of here. All right, I sold some cards out of here. It is number C4. These right here. It is 50 autograph cards. They sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Kyle in Wisconsin bought these. Kyle, thank you for the support. Really hope you like these cards. All right, next thing we're pulling out of here is some railroad ephemera. 
It is seven pieces of railroad collectibles or some buttons and some badges and different things. Um, these all sold for $24.99 plus shipping. That stuff's going up to viewer named Sam and he says, Hi John, always happy to get some gems from you. You've inspired me to start YouTube as a disabled reseller, vlogging my adventures, never giving up. I posted my first video the other day and having fun learning editing. My channel is Eclectic Sam. Sam, thank you for the business and I'm definitely going to check out your YouTube channel. And there's another piece of railroad collectible somewhere in here it's a little badge here it is this guy right here uh it is a toledo railways motorman badge that's sold for 17.99 free shipping sold another lot of cards out of here uh c5 this is 50 autograph cards they also sold for 19.99 plus shipping these are going out to your name joseph joseph thank you for the support i really appreciate it sold some license plates out of b1 these army license plates I actually sold three of them um one buyer bought one for $8.99 free shipping and one buyer bought two for $17.98 free shipping viewers rick and jacob bought those license plates thank you guys both so much for the support all right moving right along sold a hat from a3 i think i sold two hats actually sorry for my neighbor mike he's making a bunch of noise out there yeah it looks like both of these sold uh each one of these sold for $14.99 plus shipping let's go out to flashback finds on youtube he says thanks for the other panthers hat i bought about a week ago or so figured i would grab this one as well wish you and your family the best thank you so much for the support man really appreciate it sold some more pogs it is a lot of two they sold for $11.99 free shipping those pogs are going out to be your name austin he says hey john austin here i've seen you sell these pogs and my fiance loves them so I had to pick them up. We were so excited to watch you daily. We began reselling ourselves. We are the nifty thrifty couple on eBay. That's a pretty cool name. I like that. Thanks for all the advice you've given. Keep the awesome videos coming. Guys, thank you so much for the support. It means a lot. All right, next thing's in C4. There's a couple things in here. So I'll just pull the whole tote. Let's see, we got a few lots of cards. Uh, C4 sold. C1 sold. I think that's it for this tote. I sold a couple more card lots out of A2. Bring that over here. Let's see, uh, C6 sold right there. And C5 sold right there. Someone reached out to me and offered me uh, $50 for these three lots plus shipping, and I accepted. And then this lot here sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Those cards are going out to your name, Brett. Brett, thank you for the support. Really hope you like those cards. Friday morning, I got a handful of eBay orders to ship out, but first, I want to answer some viewer questions. All right, first one is from Robin T. She asks, on your Orbes offers, do you set a limit to what a buyer can offer, or do you leave it open to all offers? Looking forward to your response. Thanks. I pretty much just leave it open. I know that you can set some kind of minimum, you know, like $10, $15 or whatever it is. And like, if somebody's only going to be like a dollar or so, you know, within my minimum, I would probably just take it anyway. So I just open it up to all offers. I don't get a ton of offers on stuff, but most things I list, I leave it up for at least a month or so before I even turn on best offers. So I don't get a ton of low ball offers. I'll get some here and there, but it doesn't seem to be an issue for me. All right, next is from John Parr. He says... Whenever you come across those high price garage sales, do you ever go back the next day or the final day of their sale to see if the item is still there and they will actually deal with you and sell the item for a reasonable price? Not so much. Usually if somebody's so high, you know, it's, it's, they're going to have to come way, way down for me to be able to buy it at a price to make some money on it. Uh, I've left offers with people, you know what I mean? Like I'll give them an offer and if they say no, I'll give them a card and say, Hey, it's, if it's still here at the end of the sale, give me a call. And every once in a while I'll get a call like that. But no, I never really went back to a sale on the final day. Um, I think I did an estate sale once or twice. Um, it's a little bit different than a garage sale because a lot of estate sales will do like tiered discounts. You know, the first day there's no discount, second day maybe 25%, and then the final day like 50%, something like that. All right, let's start shipping some orders. First is an A4. This is a magic wand, new in the packaging. I got this at a garage sale two weekends ago for $2. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Forgot about this thing. Uh, I went ahead and pulled that from my storage unit. Picked that up retail arbitrage. This is a pair of Skechers boots. I paid five bucks for them. They sold for $29.99 plus shipping. And the same buyer got something over here in B2. This is a women's North Face zip up jacket. Paid a dollar for this at a garage sale. It sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Next thing is in C4. This is a little Sony Walkman with an armband clip. Paid $3 for this at a yard sale, uh, I think like three weeks ago. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next is a little Canon over here in D1. 
This is actually something my dad found at a garage sale and gave to me. I think he paid a buck or two. It sold for $14.99 plus shipping. This is going out to viewer named Steve. Steve, thank you so much for the business. It means a lot. All right, next is an autographed football here in C3. It's a Kevin Zeitler autograph ball, Bengals player. I paid $5 for this at a garage sale. It sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next thing we're pulling is a Funko Pop right up here. It is Overwatch Doomfist. Let's see, it's one of these, I think. That's Winston. Is it this big one? Nope. I think it was this guy right here. Yep, that, that's it. This sold for $5.99 plus shipping. Next is a book down here in E5. Let's see, it's called The Dragon Riders of Pern. This one right here. Got this at a garage sale for $0.10. Cents. It sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next order has three items down here in C5 and C6. Let's see, two of them are right here. It's this guy and this one. These are Kingdom Hearts action figures that I got as part of a bulk buy. Got a couple dollars into each one. This one sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And this one sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Other ones over here in C6 is Mickey Mouse. This one sold for $7.99 plus shipping. I'll box all three of these together and refund the buyer the difference in the shipping cost. Those action figures are going out to viewer named Christina. Christina, thank you for the support. Hope you like those action figures. All right, next sale is a doozy. This one right up here. This is that welding helmet kit I got down in Tennessee at the world's longest garage sale. It's got a respirator, filter, everything. This thing is really nice. I paid $120 for this, and it sold for $7.99.99 plus shipping. By far the best sale I've had in a while. All right, last order we are pulling today has four lots of autographed cards. First is in C4. It is this lot right here, C2. And then there are three lots in D1. These three right here. Four lots total, each one sold for $19.99 plus shipping. All those cards are going out to viewer named Adrian. Adrian, thank you so much for the business. Really hope you like those cards. I got a lot of viewer sales this week, and I seriously cannot thank you guys enough. Reselling is my full-time job. This is how I support my family, so all the support you guys show me just means the world to me. Thank you so much. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.